had the opportunity to go over today. Uh, we stopped at a fuel stop, and uh, Nick quickly came to me and said, hey, Chaplain, we've got a uh, young man that just died here on Tuesday. He was in a, uh, an IED, uh, in, uh, improvised explosive device, uh, blew up in uh, Kabul, Afghanistan, and um, killed several senior officers, but then also killed uh, Sergeant Joshua Tomlinson. And uh, we had uh, remembered him uh, on uh, Wednesday morning. We heard about it. Uh, we were over uh, in either California or New Mexico at that time, and so we prayed for uh, the family. Today at the, the, tro the uh, stop there in, here in Louisiana, a uh, young man came and, and said, hey, look, the uh, sergeant that died, uh, Joshua Tomlinson, died uh, in that attack was local guy. And uh, they asked if we would just do a drive-by and uh, just let the family see our motorcycles and everything and uh, just pay honor. Well, as it ended up, uh, they ended up asking us to come in, stop, and we uh, stopped on the side of the road. The whole family was outside. There were probably about uh, 15 bike riders. And uh, they asked me if I would say a prayer with the family. And so I had prayer with the father and uh, talked with him a little bit. Uh, Mr. Tomlinson said, Tomlinson said that uh, Joshua was a Christian, had been baptized, and uh, that he knows where he is now. And he was very honored by the fact that we came by and um, was just uh, over, was overjoyed. The, the family, the whole community was out there watching us. And it was just a great way to respect a hero. And uh, I was excited to be a part of that. And I was only a part of it simply because I'm a Navy chaplain invited here by uh, Run for the Wall, uh, Gary Bird and his staff invited me to come as a uh, Navy chaplain to represent the military chaplaincy. And uh, I'm a Navy chaplain simply because the Pentecostal Holiness Church has placed me here. So it was an honor to be able to represent the Pentecostal Holiness Church to a real hero's family.